Hey guys, Matt here. It's been about a month since I've made a video. I'm sorry I had to go on vacation and I had people from Peru in, so I've been really busy. Um, and these these videos that I make for this channel usually require more time and research than, than my gaming channel videos. So, Okay, so we're going to talk about uh, some program called Shadow Defender. I use this for a client who would call me over um, like twice a week, and it went on for quite a while. Now, I like being paid and everything, but I support a lot of uh, this client's family, and it was getting kind of weird, like I was just trying to go over there just to make, make a buck. So, um, this program prevents unwanted changes to your computer, uh, you know, whether it be some kind of setting that the person set, or something they deleted, a program they installed, a virus, and, and it's really easy to use. And it's 35 bucks, lifetime license. You can see that right there. You don't have to pay for it every year. Um, so let's go ahead and download a 30-day trial. I'll give you a demo on how this works. This video shouldn't take that long. It's just a couple reboots involved. That's the only thing. Uh, it's 3.31 uh, megabytes. And we'll go ahead and say run. The install's really simple. And it just wants you to restart. So I hope I have the audio sync issues fixed for these desktop videos. I know my gaming videos are perfect. I hope that the settings I've made for the gaming videos are good for the desktop videos. I don't have time to test right now. I just want to get this uploaded and see. If the audio is off, just pretend it's a silent movie. Now, it shouldn't take that long to boot. Um, I did uninstall some stuff before I put on Shadow Defender. And uh, I do need to move my virtual machines to my SSDs make these uh, these videos a lot easier so once it's booted back in we're gonna go ahead and open shadow defender and make a few changes um, there is something called um, there's nothing on my screen yet but there's something called uh, shadow mode uh, which you know any changes th that you commit to your PC are automatically committed to sorry about that <laughs> it's my doorbell hang on a second <laughs> wasn't ready for that I'll get back to that thought in a second here because I think we're going to boot up can fast forward all this crap. <laughs> I should have paused it, but I didn't think it'd be that long. I guess I will now. Okay. We're booted back up. I'm going to go ahead and launch Shadow Defender. I'm just going to say, do you want to buy it? Um, please register. We'll say later. Okay, here's the interface. So we'll go ahead and look at the modes. So right now we're in normal mode. We can enter shadow mode. And hang on a second before I do that. Okay. Anyway, like I was saying, right now we're in normal mode. We can enter shadow mode. But before we do, we're going to go ahead and give it uh, a, ca a cache, a write cache. What this does is when we're in shadow mode, we're writing changes to a temporary space. That space is destroyed when the computer is rebooted. Uh, this write cache will allow us to write those changes much faster. So we'll give it a one gigabyte write cache. So this can use one gigabyte of our RAM, basically. So once we'll sh enter shadow mode, and we're going to say enter shadow mode on boot.
operation finished. So nothing, you don't want to make changes right now because we're not in shadow mode. When we, when we boot, it says we're in shadow mode, but we're not. We need to reboot. Um, so we will go ahead and do that now. And I will pause it just so we don't have to deal with that insane. Um, I don't know why I just restarted this way, but whatever. Okay, so we're booted back up, and you can see we are in shadow mode right now. So any change I make will be automatically disregarded or deleted once we reboot. So, later. You can exempt certain uh, folders, uh, certain folders and files. Um, and if I try to do it right now, I think I screwed up. If I try to do it right now, it says we can't. But I'll see if there's a workaround here. So normally you would say add folder. And you'd say something like documents. So this directory you selected, this directory you selected is in shadow mode operation canceled. Normally um, I could select that folder and anything I save in there would be around when I reboot. But I can go ahead and give you a demo of how it works normally without doing that. So, um, one thing we want to do is enable password control. So, I'll just go ahead and give it a password. Okay, it does save that. And we will go ahead and say check for need password when committing files via a shell context menu. So, I know this is a little confusing right now for some people, but I'll just give you a quick demo on how it works. So, we're going to create two files here two little text files. We're going to say committed no commit alright now for this file we'll type hello and we'll save it This file, no commit, blah, because it won't be there anyway. Save. So I want to keep this file, but this file, I just want, I don't really care about it. It'll go away when I reboot. So I will right click this file and I will say commit. And we'll type in our password. And we'll say okay. Operation finished. So when I reboot, this file will be there, this file will not. Uh, let's go ahead and download a program just to give you an example of that. Uh, we'll just go over to File Hippo and just install something, something weird. Or normal, I don't know, whatever is easiest. Did hit enter, right? Maybe not. Uh, let's just do C cleaner. That'll be the easiest way to go. So C, C cleaner, while while being a great program, maybe you didn't want to have it installed on on this computer, and um, you don't know how to remove it or something. Uh, that's where Shadow Defender would really come in play, and all you have to do is reboot, and it's gone. But let's see that in action. And it'll install Chrome, Google Toolbar, everything. And while that's installing, I will pause real quick. Okay, so everything got installed. You can see CCleaner here, Google Chrome, and then we probably have a toolbar for IE in there somewhere. Uh, we'll just go ahead and open that, see if that pops up. Yeah, enable. So all these changes, like I said, are being written to just some temporary space on the computer. 
that's going to be destroyed as soon as I reboot. We'll make all kinds of changes here. And now we will go ahead and just uh, reboot. Restart. Okay, take a look at that. So all those icons are gone, those programs are gone. The one file that we committed that we wanted to save is still there. Hello, has all the content inside of it. Uh, so we can open up shadow mode, or shadow mode, shadow defender again. I want to talk uh, about a few more things here. That's really how easy it is to use this. So yeah, this is what I want to show. So in case somebody comes up, you know, your kids, your parents, whatever, they, they want to go ahead and turn off shadow mode or make changes to shadow defender. Once you put in that password, you have to know that password to get back into shadow defender. So that was the main thing I want to show. Like I said, not too many things here to um, to show. Um, for the file exclusion list, normally before you enter shadow mode, you would go ahead and exclude your files, exclude you know your folders, things things that you know when you save. Typically, when you save your documents, they go inside of your documents folder. So you know it's fine. Fine, you probably want to exclude that folder just to keep all your files there whenever you reboot. Um, the registry, the registry stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know why I'd want to exclude some kind of registry thing, but um, maybe you would have to in the future. Um, so that's pretty much it. It's just really easy to use, and I thought I'd go ahead and show everyone. I, I haven't had to go back to that client's house in um, quite a while now. I mean, I, I think they're pretty satisfied, and um, uh, the client's mother was. Um, you know, pretty much blown away by how this kind of saved all those calls. So, yeah, I lose a little money, but I gain some trust from those people. So uh, that's all I care about. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.